in Fat Pig, you see four real people because this is a real story and you, the audience, get to watch it unfolding in front of you. The script is is written in a way that by the end of the show, you feel like you've known these characters for a lot longer than you have. Just like, oh, this is a real conversation, you know, my friends could be having this conversation. You see what it's like when it's not a TV program that's going to be wrapped up in 45 minutes with a happy ending and time for a commercial break. She's this perfect woman. Helen is this perfect woman in many ways. She's smart, she's geeky, she's funny, she's confident, and she's fat. Tom thinks he knows a lot, and he thinks he knows what he wants. Um, and when some curveball comes into his life, it kind of rattles everything. It's not just about fatness. It's about many different types of othering that goes on in this country and in the world. I think theater is sort of sacred. And I think this play hits on so many pieces of what theater should be. It's certainly entertaining, it's funny at times, but it's also a gut punch at times. And it's going to stop and it's going to make you think and it's going to make you feel and it might even make you hurt. People should see Fat Pig because Fat Pig makes you face your fears of society, of stigma, of opinion. Because everybody, no matter what they say, is worried about what everybody else thinks of them. You're going to come, you're going to feel things, they're not all going to be pretty. <laughs> uh, but I think that's important and awesome in theater. You're definitely going to come away feeling something. <laughs>